Alright guys, welcome to your 15th biology tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to start talking about cells. Now I know that we talked a little bit about cells before and we know things like all living things are made up of these smaller living things called cells and also the cell is basically the smallest living piece of an organism. But what I want to do in the next couple of videos is I want to take a cell and I want to break it up into the smaller pieces. So inside a cell are smaller pieces called organelles. So organelles. Now each organelle does a specific job much like the organs in your body. So these are actually pretty easy to remember and in the next couple of videos like I said I'm going to be taking each organelle and going over it specifically and by the time I'm done going over every organelle you guys are going to understand how a cell is put together made and what its job is now before we get into all that I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about the way that biologists categorize different cells so the first type I want to talk to you guys about is called pro Karyotes and the other type, I might as well write it right now, is eukaryotes. So even though, you know, I know I didn't talk to you guys about the specific types of organelles and what they do, but prokaryotes are cells like bacteria. They're a lot different than animals and plant cells. So I'll just write bacteria are prokaryotes in animals. Uh, humans, even though we are animals, and uh, plants, those are all something called eukaryotes. Now another way that they differ is prokaryotic cells, they don't have a true nucleus, and I know that you guys don't know, know what a nucleus is yet, but uh, again this, is, <laughs> this would be a lot easier to explain if I talked to you guys about the organelles already, but just remember, no nucleus and the nucleus is pretty much the brain of the cell and no organelles and eukaryotic cells of course they do have a nucleus and um, they do have I'll just put um, organelles so in the next couple of videos I'm gonna be talking mostly about eukaryotes and that's mostly what we're focused on whenever we talk about biology unless you go into you know a field that specific specifically specifically studies bacteria or prokaryotes most people are concerned with you know finding diseases or you know just learning about the human body so most people are concerned with eukaryotic cells eukaryotes so that's what I'm gonna be talking about in the next couple of videos so let's go ahead and get started and the first piece of the cell I want to talk about is called the plasma membrane. Now the plasma membrane is also called the cell membrane and if you guys remember from the last couple of videos I said that the membrane was basically the skin of the cell. Now I say the skin because its job is to surround the cell and protect it from the outside environment. Now while I'm talking about this I might as well go ahead and mention that the inside of the cell, the fluid inside is called the cytoplasm. So cytoplasm is pretty much the fluid inside the cell and the skin of the cell is called the plasma membrane or some people also call it the cell membrane. but uh, I'm typically going to be calling it the plasma membrane because I think that's the more technical term and another thing that I want to mention real quick is that plant cells have a special thing called a cell wall so cell wall plants only so again even though that humans animals and plants are all eukaryotes like this plant cells and animal cells differ a little bit I'm gonna be talking about the differences later on but for right now the only difference is that plants have something called a cell wall and a cell wall is just a more solid and rigid uh, structure that goes around the cell but plasma membrane cell membrane is basically the skin of the cell which surrounds it and inside the cell is cytoplasm 
So I actually ran out of time in this tutorial, but in the next video what I want to do is I want to take a closer look at the plasma membrane and I want to show you guys exactly what it's made of because in the last tutorial I talked about things like carbohydrates and lipids and actually the plasma membrane is made up of a lot of those things that you guys are going to find very familiar. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.